Ladies and gentlemen, no introduction is needed, but in case you've been under a rock, I'm here with Concrete General, aka Kenny Red, the one and only. If it's anybody else, you got to be a phony. <laughs> anybody else got to be a phony, my brother. A too real for TV exclusive. 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 Hey, Ray, what's been up with you, fam? Uh, you know me, Maroy, just moving and grooving, you know what I'm saying? Now, this is the first interview I'm doing completely sober because Kenny Red is really big on the health tip. Yeah. So, you know, I can't drink my liquor around <laughs> this man, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, stay healthy. Yeah, health, good health and wealth go together. Bad health and wealth don't mix. Healthy, wealthy, happy. Okay, Ray, what's been up with you, though, man? I ain't been doing nothing, Maroy, you know. Going to the gym, um, you know, one of my little boys, he here, 14 years old, raising him, you know, he going to school and everything, trying to make sure he got, uh, get good grades and everything, you know. Man, let, let me jump straight into it, man. I'm glad I was able to catch up with you, man, because a lot of things that's been going on and people talking about on the streets, especially with, like, Pimpsey mm -hmm. um, and the feds and stuff like that, we know you know about the feds firsthand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell us about... The feds, because like when you went to the feds, a lot of people saying, well, hey, he, he was supposed to do all that time. He was supposed to pay all that money, but he got out. And you know, haters going to say what haters yeah, going to say. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. they say I told on somebody and yeah. had my own case by myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, the, the way it is with the feds, the feds, what a lot of people don't know, the feds um, convict you on your words. You know, like in the, like, you know how I say like in the Bible, you know, it was the word first, and you know, the good Lord spoke the world in existence. But it's the word they 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 reword your shit. They use it against you. You know what I'm saying? But if you notice, if every if everybody that notice that uh, uh, um how they do pimp, the first thing they always say, every pimp that y'all know, if you go look it up yourself, every pimp always supposed to have an underage bitch. An underage female, you know what I'm I saying? I noticed that. Yeah, every pimp, they say, have an underage, so... And then, most of the time, when you're dealing with the feds, and you got, and they say you got an underage female, they always got a, a woman prosecutor. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Sir, sir. What's up, Uncle? Very tough, I told them already, I don't know why they think we pedophiles and mess with kids and everything. We just come to have a nice time, you know what I'm saying? We was invited to a party. I don't know why they I don't know why they want to uh, create all this ruckus and all that kind of stuff and ties in with them other guys, you know what I'm saying? That was messing with them little kids and everything. I mean anybody that messes with little kids is supposed to be in the penitentiary, you know what I'm saying? I mean I know some of them guys and everything, but I mean I don't condone none of that shit, you know what I'm saying? I got kids my own self that go to college, you know what I'm saying? My youngest one is eight months, my oldest one is twenty-five. I got seven kids, four boys and three girls, you know what I'm saying? I don't condone of, of doing nothing to no kids. Y'all stay in school when y'all see this. So, I mean, how you know, you know, you know, so. But, Catch 22. Yeah, but like with Pimpsey, I told, I, when I talked to Pimpsey mom when he first got arrested, I said, don't spend no money on no lawyer. Don't spend, uh, and uh, if they give you three or four years, take it. But I know what Pimpsey is at, you know what I'm saying? Pimpsey don't want to come out and register as no sex offender and everything because that's how I was, you know what I'm saying? They gave me all these old trumped up charges. They dropped all the pimp shit out, sent me to the joint for two counts of money laundry. You know what I'm saying? For buying a couple of houses uh, with another name and another social, you know what I'm saying? I went and did my time and came on back to society, you know what I'm saying? But them white folks, they know what they do. They so, I respect that. I respect that gangster. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I respect the white folks gangsters because they do what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Do you think, do you think, just in your personal opinion, do you think that it was foolish of Pimpsey to take him to trial? Well... Or, or, or anybody to take the feds to trial? Well, you know, well that's how I felt, Monroy. I was going, I was going to trial too because I felt like Pimpsey did too. You know what I'm saying? About far as me got to get out and be a registered sex offender and all that kind of shit. I, you know how I got to go register a sex offender? I ain't raped nobody. I ain't, I ain't had sex with no underage female. But I, but you got to register though. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, so I'll be damned if you do, be damned if you don't. You know what I'm saying? But you know, Pimpsey. Pimsy had all the different people on this case, and they just came on home, and they was just ready to come home and everything. But, you know, I know what Pimsy had with it, but, you know, all the people that, that's on this case and everything, if I was Pimsy, I think I would have just had to go ahead and 
take the, you know what I'm saying, if they offered him four or five years, you know what I'm saying, because he'd be on his way home, you know what I'm saying? I mean, even though that, you know, later on they're going to they gonna use the sex offender on, you, on the streets or whether you're in jail or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it all depends on how you want to come home. You know, you know, niggas ain't never done no time. They be sitting there listening to them jailhouse lawyers and all that kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know... There's no telling where he was, and then he was at peace with it. You know, if he was at peace with himself, long as he, and he went to trial, and know that he had a 50-50 chance, and you know what I'm saying, and you know from from the way I hear the way that I hear him on the telephone, he still he sounds strong, like good game. You know what I'm saying, like right. you can't tell good game in prison. You know what I'm saying, good good been gone uh, uh, five years already. You know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and the time is moving. You know what I'm saying, but now it's just now they just got him where that now they just got Pimpsy where he waiting to see how much time he gonna get. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because the judge and the DAs and all that, they all, they all, know, all know that that's be a bunch of bullshit, though, anyway. You know what I'm saying? They know, I mean, goddamn, you gonna come get me some, for something 15 years ago, and you talking about I had a bitch for 15 years, I ain't had no bitch, I ain't, you know what I'm saying, no nothing, because this was my partner, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. Come on, man, please. If that's the case, they, not, they got to lock everybody up. Okay. This is my daughter right here, one of my kids and everything. She not no hooker or no none of that kind of stuff, so I don't know where they get that bullshit from, you know what I'm saying? About motherfucker fuck with kids and all that kind of shit. But like I said again, motherfucker that fuck with kids is supposed to be in jail. The only motherfucking juvenile I fuck with is my kids or the one in my CD. Check. Man, what do you think is the state of the game right now? In compared, because I mean, you you one of the guys that's been around long time, so all the new shit that's going on now, the way they prosecuting pimps is 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 crazy. What do you think about all this shit? Well, for real, for real, keeping it one hundred. In real life, it's over. It's over, man. These people, these people. How like, can the concrete general say that though? It, it's over. When it went from a pimp to pan to the max, the most time that you get. It's four years, and it went from now from trafficking. You can have a female two hundred years old. They send a nigga to the penitentiary, and the less time, and the less time that it started is, is that twelve years, twelve, twelve on up to 40, 50 years to life. Come on, man, please, you know. Say so it used to be felony money with Mister Mister Time. They believe that, and with, 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 hey, with no problems, you know what I'm saying. But now a nigga go, a nigga get Buck Rogers dates. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's all, and then, and but the reason it's like this though. Because these desperado niggas took the game and taking these people underage kids and sending them out there and want to call themselves pimping. That's why it's like that. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's like that. And then these niggas uh, got in the game and then they want to just uh, uh, start. Uh, 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 they they, they want to get to the top instead of you know being at the bottom. You got to get, start from the bottom to get to the top. But everybody, you know, the social media has a lot to do with it. You know what I'm saying? That's messing up. That messed up a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? Niggas show what they got all on there and everything. And and the white folks, they just sitting back and just looking. Oh, okay. You see, that's how they keep records on you now. Right. Through social media. You know what I'm saying? We, you ain't got to call and tell because you're telling on yourself. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but remember, but they got to remember one thing. It's what come out their mouth. Is, that's what they use against you. Whatever comes out your mouth, that's what they use against you in court. If you tell them, oh, yeah, if you if you get on camera and tell them, oh, yeah, I'm a pimp and everything, you can believe one thing. If you catch a case, they're going to use that against you. And you could be lying. Nigga ain't, ain't, nigga, nigga ain't got a clue what pimping is. Ain't gonna say he pimp, but if he get caught with a bitch, oh no, well we got that on social media, we got that on Facebook, we got to, oh they gonna use it against you. And they know they, they know a nigga ain't a, uh, ain't, uh, ain't a pimp if he jumped off the Empire State Building. So let me ask you this, man, because you are one person that, you've been an American pimp, multi million dollar film distributed through MGM, and you also been in cross country pimping. What do you have to say? to the people that say getting on them movies ain't what the game is about. Or, or pimps shouldn't be on movies. Well, I'ma tell I'ma tell anybody that do anything that got that anything that have to do with um something, you know, uh, uh, uh pertaining towards the pimping or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's a, a screenplay, whether they on there whether it's fiction they line or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You have to have a contract to show that you was you know, I mean, what you know, what he was doing. Because at the end of the day, they're gonna take that and be like, "Oh no, this is what he said." But this is what this is this is what I this is what I did. This is what he asked me to do, and this is what I signed said that I was doing. You know what I'm saying? So, but but you know, a lot of the time these niggas be lying anyway, though. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I mean, you know, a lot of them ain't got nothing to worry about because when people uh, uh, hit that computer and see 
what they really is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she, niggas ain't gonna be, niggas ain't gonna make it anyway. If anything, they gonna get prosecuted for impersonating Pippin. Impersonating. Yeah. Pippin impersonating. Yeah. Let me, so notice, the world is more negative than it is positive. The world, the world, the world will, the world will listen to more negative than they will positive. That's just like me. You know what I'm saying? Black Health, he sent me the word of the day and I read it and I send it out and everything. You know what I'm saying? But, I could put that on I could put that on social media. I might get 20 hits. But if I put on social media that I done knocked this nigga for a bitch or this nigga done got ran over or such and such and shot such and such or these bitches had a fight or something like that, I'm liable to get twenty thousand hits. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. So the the more the more negative, you know what I'm saying, the bigger the bigger, you know, the audience gets. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, the uh 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 Ne negativ negativity is what keeps people down and they really don't even see it though you know what I'm saying so you know what, what I try to practice is I don't complain about paying no bills because bills was here before me and bills gonna be here after me you know what I'm saying so I try to surround myself with positive I'm older I'm 55 years old almost 56 be 56 in April you know what I'm saying I don't have no no time for no game but I don't have no room for no game I know it's a lot of niggas out there don't like me and I ain't never done nothing to them but maybe had they bitch or something back in the day or something <laughs> like that, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, though, man, I don't be care. One thing about me, I don't give a fuck what now motherfucker say about me. You know, and I say it again. Whatever motherfucker I say about me, suck my dick. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? I pay my own motherfucking bills. Ain't now nigga out there that got something to say about me, pay my bills. If a nigga out there got something to say about me paying my bills and everything, well, he need to call me. My, my cell phone number been the same for, uh, since 1999. Believe that. You know what I'm saying? But... You know, me and you, cause we could strike up a conversation. I mean, that's just like with you, Maroy. I've been, Maroy, I've been knowing you when you first had came out of school from doing this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know, I hear this. I, you know, oh, Maroy, he the toll, or Maroy, he he worked with the feds and all that kind of stuff and everything. But one thing, the paperwork to show that a nigga got the oh, he the toll and whoop the whoop. It don't, it don't really work like that. What, what niggas be really be saying? You you see what I'm saying? Right. It just really be a, a bunch of rumors. See, well, see one thing. See, that's just like. If a motherfucker tell me, oh, uh, such and such toe, I'm not finna run with that. You see what I'm saying? Because that'll get a nigga killed. You know, so guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just sit back and just wait and see. Either the paper gonna show up or either it's not. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I don't be caring what nobody said. That's just like, they said that I got a baby by a bitch in Detroit uh, by a police officer. But where's she at? Where the baby at? Who is this? See, they say, all, they say all kind of stuff about me. But, I, but guess what, though? I don't lose no sleep. I still go pay my bills and I still get up and go to the gym. Cause see, cause the nigga can't buy these in the store. You know what I'm saying? You got to earn these. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I don't take no man in the can. I don't do nothing of that. Because guess what I'm focused on? I'm focused on my health. I'm supposed to, first, I'm focused on the good Lord. I'm focused on my health. I'm focused on my kids. I'm focused on my grandkids and my dad. You know what I'm saying, Maroy? You know the cold thing about it is, K Real, with you, man, you always speak positive. Me and you, we never sat around and right. kicked it about no, no. pimping and breaking bitches. Yeah. It's always some positive shit, but you do get a large amount of haters. That's because they can't beat me. So, you know what I'm saying? Not somebody want to be somebody? It's just, that's just because they can't beat me. That's all. I mean, the average motherfucker that hate on me, Maroy, I don't even know them. I don't even know him. I had a mother, motherfucker. I think, was that you or somebody else sent me something and, and somebody in the bay was hating on me? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I was like, like, YouTube yeah, shit, I was yeah. like, who is this? I don't even know. But get, but you know what, though, Maroy? That be a motherfucker be trying to strike up his his fan base and everything, you see what I'm saying? To get motherfuckers to look at that shit. You see what I'm saying? Right. I mean, you know, Maroy, I just I like, go through the same shit. Yeah, I, I already know. Yeah. I mean, come on, man, I already know. You know what I'm saying? They say uh, I had something to do with even your case. Man, come on, shit, where? <laughs> you like, know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, you, know, you know the cold part about it? I got all my paperwork. It's in the garage. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been home 10 years. I've been home been 10 years. Yeah, I've been home 10 years. I got arrested. Uh, uh, <laughs> 2005, April the 8th, 2005. I remember that. That's when yeah. we went to the ball in, uh, in San, San Diego. Diego. Yeah. 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 yeah, I've been home. I've been home 10 years, Leroy. I mind my own business. I, you know, I still fool with the motorcycles and everything. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, you know, have fun with, with my other folks. On, you know what I'm saying? You know, on the bike set and everything. My motorcycle family, that's what I call my whole motorcycle family. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they show me love and... Give me a lot of respect, you know what I'm saying? I give it back, you know what I'm saying, Maroy? But as far as like all the stuff that's in the street and all that, they can have that, boy. You know what I'm saying? They can have it. Because the game is a young nigga's game. I'm old. 
the, the feds and the vice. But you look good as a motherfucker, oh, boy. I, 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 I mean, well, I, I got to keep myself up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that shit. But you know what shit, but right. They they could keep all that. Right? I'm I'm 55, almost 56 years old. My dad 77 years old. My dad, I go I go to his house and sit. Well, he got I, I got him some twin chairs. Let's say R R Ronald and Red. You know, it's like a double R that's sitting. Right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? And we sit up there and talk. You know what I'm saying? My dad don't even drive. He he rides bicycles. He got three three bicycles. You know what I'm saying? And he switch them up like they cars. You know what I'm saying? Seventy seven years old. The doctor told him whatever he's doing, keep on doing it. You know what I'm saying? And like far as me, you know what I'm saying? I you know I do I I do what I have to do. But they respect me in the gym the same way they respected me. Respected my pivot across the country and all that kind of stuff across the world, whatever. That's how they respect me in the gym. I was taught that you know by Big Shot. You know what I'm saying? That's my mm -hmm. trainer in the gym. You know what I'm saying? But you know Roy, where I'm at in my life, I just want to just. You know, just peace. You see what I'm saying? I see a lot of the, the OGs that was in American pimp, pimps up hoes down. Matter of fact, I just came back from Chicago. It was Bishop's birthday. He turned 65. Bishop hit me and told me he a real senior citizen. And you know where he had his life. You know, it's a blessing to even get there. You know what I'm saying? And see what a lot of people instead of them focus on the negative shit and want to talk about you, me, gangster Filmo, or you know what I'm saying, a bishop or anybody else and everything. They should focus on their own life. You know what I'm saying? What they got going on? Because guess what? I was your age. So guess what you trying to do? You trying to get to my age? Guess what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to get to my dad's age. You know what I'm saying? And past there. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't. I don't want to sit there and discuss. No, uh, nigga, you know what I'm saying? I don't even want this, uh, nigga to call me talking about some bitch, especially she ain't gave me no money, you see what I'm saying? I ain't worried about that. Hey, ain't not, ain't got to give me no money, but, you know, shit. One thing I do, like my nigga said, Oh, I accept a contribution, you know, a donation, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with a donation because it ain't, it ain't going to be no everyday thing, you know what I'm saying? Right, so, right, right. And I'm not going to put my energy into all that. I'm going to just keep doing what I've been doing, you know what I'm saying? Minding my own business, you know what I'm saying? If I don't have another bitch never in life no more, guess what? Whatever I did, I set my mark in the game. I did what I did and everything, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, and ask me again, would I do it again, you know what I'm saying, from the, the way it is? Right now, hell no, you know what I'm saying? Because that's crazy because, you know, the, I, I, the concrete general I know from 15 years ago told me about 15 years ago, he said, if I ain't got no hope, I ain't got no dope. Believe that. And well, I mean, well, that's the way it was until they, you know, until they, until they started giving up these Buck Rogers, they, I, I, shit, I'm too old to be going to try to go do 20, 30 years. Yeah, for real. You know what I'm saying? Especially behind a bitch coming, coming through the door and gave, give me, Three or four, five thousand dollars. That ain't that ain't worth my time. Shit, when I shit, when I was in jail for for them uh for them two years, if I would have had a million dollars right then and there, they told me give me a million, we'll let you out. They could have got that million. I don't want to be treated like no animal. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to sleep in no little bitty ass bed and all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I want to get up and go to my refrigerator, use my restroom, talk on my telephone. You know what I'm saying? Run the street, jump in one of my automobiles, or jump on my bike when I feel like it, not when they say so. Now that ain't what time it is, man. Niggas got to wake up, man. You know what I'm saying? So a young a youngster right now, they see K Red, they see you shining on every limb. They like, K Red, give me some game, man. I wanna get in the game, man. You know, what? I got half a bitch right now. My baby mama, you know what I mean, she ready to go. <laughs> what you gonna tell her? Well, 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 I'm, uh, well, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna talk to him, I'm gonna let him weigh his options. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give him half of the game. I'm gonna give him the truth. You know what I'm saying? What what was going on? Then it is not going on now. You see what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm gonna let him know what he's doing wrong, and, and uh, you know what he's doing wrong and what he's doing right. So you know, it's really gonna be up to him what he do and what he take, and you know, take out of the conversation that we have and run with that. You know. So I mean, so basically at the same time, but you know, if a lot of people can read through the lines and everything, they got to know. Goddamn, I've been I've, I've been in the game thirty some years, so I already know that these people will play. If I know these people ain't playing, I know it got to, it got to be something. But like Mama used to say, hard here make us all fast. So you know what I'm saying? Niggas have to see their own self. But then at the same time, right now though, you know, um, it ain't just the white folks. It's these niggas. You know what I'm saying? That how they do these girlfriends. They Girlfriends, all these girlfriends, you know what I'm saying? They um cupcake with all of them, you know what I'm saying? And then more, it's more of a matrimony than it is macaroni, you know what I'm saying? See, mine, 
macaroni, there's matrimony, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, shit, I mean, and a lot of these females, they run around with them, uh, with all these purses and shoes and everything. Hell, it's easy to have a bunch of shoes when you ain't, when you ain't scarring them up. They're on the carpet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, get on that brick and dick and see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Flag a, a, a trick down. Get them shoes scuffled up and see how it really, how it really is. You see what I'm saying? I mean, if, if, if the white folks brought the game back to where it was 20, 30 years ago, then they would see a bunch of these niggas would be leaking like toxin waste. You think you're so clever in this game? You got your player card. What Kenny Ray at? that? Kenny Red say he cutting your card up, nigga. You getting your card. Hey, Kenny Red. Kenny Red say you getting your card tore up, nigga. There, you getting it cut up. Bishop Juan ain't running this show no more. We, he he weighed in the back now. I got the dough, and you're not getting up on the stage this year. What you say you gonna do, Kenny Red? I got some gold scissors I had especially made. I'm cutting their cards up for them busters. That they that uh, always talking about they're gonna step up to the plate and don't do a goddamn thing. You saw it, busted nigga. They know that y'all know it's the Bishop Don Juan uh, 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 birthday and everything. Think, November the 15th, and y'all think y'all gonna get up on the stage and talk and speak up and y'all don't step up and show up or no nothing? Ain't no more of that. Mr. Rick ain't gonna let all. you on the stage. He handling everything now. Preach. You're not getting on the stage. I tell you what, too real for TV. You know the meaning of too real for TV. Every player can't get all this, man. He with the press, the king, the Archbishop Don Juan son, Lil Mac Juan, Rem Toe, the Empress. Man, dig, nigga, you say you a pimp, you selling dope, nigga, you ain't no pimp, you better make your mind up what you is, nigga. You come to the ball, the feds gonna lock you up, nigga. So you get yourself together. But all you niggas talking about, you wanna step up on the stage, don't come, nigga. Cause all y'all wanna run up there, ain't getting nothing up, nigga, ain't getting up there. Too real for TV now. You heard what I said, nigga. We play games, nigga. We pimp on souls, nigga. Do you think it's the niggas or the chicks that's the biggest problem? It's, it's both. Well, really, it's the niggas. Because a woman is a reflection of her man. A strong, a strong woman likes strong niggas. You see what I'm saying? I see on IG how these niggas be. Hey, boo. You know, boo, <laughs> boo, what boo, what you ain't scared me, boo, hey bitch, you know what I'm saying, my days was, hey bitch, it wasn't no motherfucking boo, it's boo, you know what I'm saying, no, it's bitch, you know what I'm saying, now, hey, uh, -oh, boo, where you at, let's get together and smoke one, I remember niggas didn't even get hoes drugs, oh, nigga, hey man, nigga, nigga. Uh, in my days, Maroy, hoes might have smoked a little weed, but. Cocaine and Molly's and Jollies and all that stuff that all these hoes be having now. That's a no-no. And these niggas go fellowship with the bitch. You know what I'm saying? Well, well you can't. It's, it's a, how can you fellowship with a bitch? You see what I'm saying? And the bitch gonna go get you some motherfucking money. You see what I'm saying? And and, and stay focused. See, that's why the, the people think the people feel like pimps beat up beat up their prostitutes. Pimps. Give they uh, girls drugs and all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Pimps are low life, the dirty down, low down uh, uh, people and everything. But you know the cold part about it though? What the white folks have, have they, the white folks will go get uh, professional witnesses is what they call them. You know what I'm saying? Like people that's the females that's been out there and, and all that. Well, okay, well who you was with? See, they need to ask, well, who you was with first, though? You know what I'm saying? Because whoever you was with and the, and, and bitter, uh, bitter as you are with the game, evidently he didn't know what he was doing. Or he pimped on you like a, in chili cold blood. You know what I'm saying? But if these niggas would go by the rules and regulations and have respect for themselves, then the females will have respect for the game. But by these cats be making deals and um ho come in come give you five thousand and you get to spend a thousand she get to spend the four thousand you know what i'm saying that's where they're gonna stay at you know but they need to really know that it's over man you know what i'm saying you know you, you know one thing Jackson brown had taught me uh a long time ago is when i got when i got in the game he was like well, you know, you always have to have your bells, bombs, and a lawyer. Check out some of the, the, um, 
the uh, the laws that's going on. You know what I'm saying? Now it's like people, you know, people just pop up and just think they can do what they want to do. Many people ain't going for that money. You know what I'm saying? I, I I just be sitting back and just, you know, things that I hear, I just sit back and laugh or, you know what I'm saying? Be like, wow, you know what I'm saying? Or something like that. If K Red is not going to be playing in the game, it's like, you know, somebody not in the league no more. What K Red going to do? K Red going to mind his own business. Um, you know, I, I just, you know, me, I just kick back, you know what I'm saying, Maroy, and, you know, just ride my life out like on a... But you make, you, I mean, you really honestly make life look easy as a motherfucker. You jump on the bike, you wear big jewels, we go to all-stock game, you got little kids screaming, you I be like, what the fuck, like, you don't look like you stressing or working hard for shit right now. Well, I, well, well for number one, I... I one thing I ain't doing, I ain't gonna stress about it because I know if it's meant, if, if, if whatever's meant to happen, the good Lord gonna make sure that I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a believer f for that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we get, man, we man. get ready to go do it. You know what, what I'm saying? It's the ball. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, Friday the 27th on our way to the players' ball. You know what I'm saying? To go crowd a few of these motherfucking holes or something that Mr. J got over here. You know what I'm saying? So we just trying to go do it one more time. You know Tell what I'm saying? Tell me, though, Sim, something, though, man. Why these pimps can't get in these limos, man? I don't know what's wrong with them. They shout or something. They make <laughs> Spent the money. <laughs> I can't do myself like that. Like in the cars, man. I, I don't know what they're doing, but I'm riding with my partner. I'm over in the Bentley. I ain't worried about being squashed up like no motherfuckers. So I you know what I'm saying? People got to be stressed out. Like I always be nice and comfortable. Right. You know, Roy, you know, when I was in the joint, you know what I'm saying? I stayed damn near a year down in the city jail when I was fighting my case. And I got a chance to really just sit back and think. A lot of people, they, they read different kind of books and all that kind of stuff. I did really three things in jail. I read the Bible, I learned how to play chess, and I played uh, cards every now and then. You know, and um, I was able to focus on what I was gonna do. Even though I be like, I was like the average cat when I came home. You know what I'm saying? But I forgot things to change, though. You know what I'm saying? See, one thing, one thing jail taught me is when you behind the wall, life goes on. When you dead pushing up Daisy, life goes on. So guess what I better do? I better focus on my life and, you know what I'm saying, and be more closer to my family. I got eight kids and I, and I talk to all my kids, you know what I'm saying? They call me, they talk, you know what I'm saying? I'm like a big brother to them, but they know that I'm a daddy and they, they know I don't play, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I, I, you know my focus is, is to have me a nice female that wants something or they, or they got something, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying, or for me to, to be by myself and kick back like my dad. And, you know, my dad, you can come in my dad house, my dad feet be kicked up on, 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 on his couch or his chair and everything. He be sitting back, turn, changing the channel on his TV, you know what I'm saying? He ain't worried about nothing. He might be on the fixed income, but my dad don't want for nothing, you know what I'm saying? He's a good dude, you know what I'm saying? If I, if I would listen to him, I would, you know, a lot of things that... I wouldn't even went through, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, you know, still being hard, it is. So I, I'll just be trying to mentor to a lot of the youngsters and let them know, you know, what's right and what's wrong and what these people would do to you, you know? You know, what's crazy is that sometimes when, you know, you hear the word pimp, people try to put the stereotype of pimps being bad people and doing all this shit. But one thing that I've always admired about you is that you had a real strong moral character. I remember when you went to jail, uh, something you had to make sure your daughter got a car mm -hmm. oh yeah like you made sure yeah. she had a car for her graduation, yeah, graduation. no matter what yeah. was going on with you you was like she got to get this car yeah and i always remember that i was like damn and then even though you got sons that's grown they still respect you and call you daddy yeah right now you know what i'm yeah. saying and we talking about college graduates yeah. so that say a lot about a nigga's character yeah well 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 you know what like i said i got eight kids and Six of them done graduated, you know what I'm saying? Some of them done went to college, college, some of them didn't, you know what I'm saying? And really that's my focus, Maroy, because my other son, the one that's 14, he's up at bat next, you see what I'm saying? So I'm on his head because 
you know, my my daughters and my sons, and they told him, we not we're not gonna fuck this up. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna graduate. You know what I'm saying? It's just like when I uh, like me, I dropped out of school 15, 16 years old. You know what I'm saying, my royal, trying to get up out the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of my friends they respect me because I did get up out the ghetto, but I didn't I didn't forget where I come from. You know, I still got my ghetto pad. Them still is my cats. When I go home and everything, I still hang on the corner and everything. When I go to Washington D.C. or something, I'm going through the neighborhoods and all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't forget where I come from, you know what I'm saying, Shimaroya, I, I live right here, but guess what though, I done jumped on the bus and went up to the Harley and got two cars downstairs and all that kind of stuff and everything, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. I done got, because I, I, I could have jumped in a cab or called somebody to come get me or something like that, but I mean, it's nothing to me, I don't care what nobody say about me, somebody might say, oh, well, I seen Kenny Red, he was over there, I seen him getting on the bus, okay, so what? Who gives a fuck, you know what I'm saying, yeah, <laughs> shit, but somebody would take that and run, so... I was gonna have you to um, one of these days film me getting on the bus, and we are gonna see how far that go. And watch what I said. Watch how many hits you get. Probably a, a million. Oh, Kenny <laughs> Red, he broke. We seen him getting on the bus. You see what I'm saying? But then I mean, man, people just play so many games. If people would, why, why people be so preoccupied with trying to count your money if you broke and you've been doing great? Oh, why I've been knowing you. I ain't never, I like, you doing better than most young niggas right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Matching trucks with the matching whips and uh -huh. jewels, the daytime jewels, the nighttime jewels. Like, I mean. Oh, yeah, the little kitty red. Yeah. The nighttime and the, the daytime. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. I, I, you know, Roy, I never figured that out. You know what I'm saying? My, my partner, Master Charles, God bless his soul. He the one who um, taught me how to hustle when I was young. You know what I'm saying? He said, this is what he always told me. He said, Kenny, I want you. I want you to know something. I say, what's up? He said, I don't never want you to be jealous of nobody because what they got, you could get it or you can get it better. So Matthew Charles went to um, prison for about um, five or six years. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in the street. I'm doing my thing. I'm checking it like the house on fire and everything. You know what I'm saying? So I had a Fleetwood Bro Ham. Um, Capped off with the fifth wheel, the grill, the trues and vogue, the brain blow, the whole nine yard, big monster jewelry. You know what I'm saying? The big ropes with the big M uh, uh, medallions and all of the big ass rings and Rams ring and the double K red rings and everything. Personalized license plates and everything. So I went to Vacaville Penitentiary in California to visit him one time. Well, I went there a few times, but I remember I went there one time and um, you know, that, that metal detector, right? It didn't go off. They said, yeah, when it don't go off like that, that's real jury. I said, yeah, well, <laughs> I, I said, yeah, well, I can't wear that face you because it turned my neck green. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, um, and when I went to go see him and everything, you know, I, I, you know, I took care of him from out on the street and everything, but, you know, when he came home, me and him sat down and talked, he said, you know what? You the best student that I ever had because you listen. See, and then, see, that's what's wrong. See, if the youngsters would listen and respect the OGs and everything instead of them be talking about, oh, this nigga is old, oh, that's prehistoric game, this nigga, it ain't that time and everything, you see what I'm saying? Instead of want to push the line to get to the front line and stay in the back of the line and work their way to the front line, they would make it. You see, see a lot of cats, they think, uh, if they think it's about the, the beginning or the middle, but it's about the ending. See, see, I'm at the end. See, me, I'm in, me, I'm in the, uh, uh, the ninth, the ninth inning. This is the ninth inning. So I don't have no room to be playing. You see what I'm saying? I got a lot of, a lot of youngsters that call me. You know what I'm saying? People will pop up with my phone number and everything. And be like, okay, I say, who's this? Okay, we just this side. I got your phone number. And That's okay. I'm gonna call you back. I call you. Oh yeah, yeah, Uncle, I gave it to him. You know, I, on the street, I'm up. That's right. Uncle K. Red. You see what I'm saying? I don't mind that. I don't have no brothers. I, I didn't have no brothers or no nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, 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 I have a couple of aunties, but I mean, my mother's sister, but they passed. So I don't, I don't have no aunties or uh, uncles or no nothing right now. You see what I'm saying? But you know the way it is. You know, Roy. If I can give somebody some good advice, why not? I could take it with me, but it's selfish. For me not to share it though, because somebody shared it with me. You know what I'm saying? So it's nothing wrong with sharing knowledge. 
because that's what it really is. You see what I'm saying? See, a lot of people just don't know really when you're in the street and you're getting fast money, it's just designed for you to be able to do something with the money so you can get up and go to work on your own program, not on nobody else's program. But when you don't do nothing with the few coins that you uh, put in your cup, you're going to be on somebody else's program. You know what I'm saying? Is it, Let me ask you, I, with the players' ball that goes on in Chicago, mm -hmm. you've been coming faithfully for years, mm -hmm. over a decade. Mm -hmm. But we don't see a lot of West Coast cats come over. Well, 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 well that's because a lot of them be thinking that... Um, um, a lot of them be thinking that... Well, back in the days... Well, back years ago, you know... I guess they, everybody just felt like they... I'm I'm the big I'm the big pimp I'm the big pimp but see they really don't know a player's ball is just like for everybody to come together and just to to, to have fun and just the fellowship like you know what I'm saying I mean you know the fellowship and just the talk shit you know what I'm saying me I'm a go I'm a go I'm I'm a go you know why because I like seeing my old, some of my old school friends because I just because I just didn't pimp in one state. You see what I'm saying? I just didn't send no bitch in one state. I, you know, I've been all over, so that's why I don't mind going. Maybe a lot of these niggas don't go nowhere because they ain't never because they scared to go somewhere. Maybe they maybe they don't go to the players' ball because they ain't did nothing in the next state. You see what I'm saying? But excuse me. But I know when I go to Chicago, you know they treat me like I'm from Chicago. Believe that. You know what I'm saying? When I go to Washington D.C., they treat me like I'm from D.C. Well, I, you know, New York or anywhere else. You know what I'm saying? I see people. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, sometimes people will stop me, and be like, "Hey, I recognize that voice. You Kenny Red?" I say, "Yeah." They say, "Kenny Red, is it cool uh, if I get a picture?" I say, "Yeah, man. Come on, man. I, I ain't Hollywood. I'm still Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I mean, you know, I, you, you know, I'm not gonna change on you. Whether if I got a if, if, if I hit the lottery, you see what I'm saying, or something like that, you know, shit, damn it, half of my money going uh, 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 gonna to be gone because I already know what I got to do with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm still help the homies from the neighborhood. I still got, you know, a lot of uh, friends that's in jail. You know what I'm saying? They, they call me, you know what I'm saying? I do what I can. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that uh, uh, I sit down and write letters, but I accept the phone calls, you know. I send pictures, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I, you know, I do what I can, you know, my boy, because I know how it is. Not to have nothing. I know how it is to be broke. I know how it is to uh, 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 sleep in the car. I know how it is to sleep on the bus. I know how it is, you know what I'm saying, to be hungry. I know how it is for a motherfucker to come home and the lights off and electricity off and all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a part of welfare. I hate welfare. You see what I'm saying? But at the same time, though, Maroy, I don't want to go back to where I come from. I don't mind going to go home and go visit and have fun and the fellowship and everything, but I don't want to go home and, you know what I'm saying, and, you know what I'm saying, because I couldn't make it out in the street and everything, so now I got to go back home and all that and try to go find me a job at McDonald's or something like that, you know what I'm saying? The gym, I'm going to keep on training a few clients that I do have, you see what I'm saying, and everything, and I'm going to keep on making it, you know what I'm saying, until I catch me a female that hit the lottery because the way they, <laughs> because, because, because the way these females is, are now, they like the scratch offs. A hit and miss. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, right. yeah so I just rather have the one that hit the lottery. You know, call me when you hit the lottery. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, I'm over here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, uh trying to think of the, the, the baddest idea that I can to build a motorcycle and everything, you know what I'm saying? That you know, you know my Roy since I've you know been designing a motorcycle, my Roy, I met a lot of a lot of People, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about doctors, lawyers. The people just don't know how really big the motorcycle game is. You know what I'm saying? But I met a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? And then when I designed my bike, the King of Diamonds, you know what I'm saying? Bad motherfucker. They, yeah, people um, was like, did you do that? Did you do that? Yeah, like, yeah. They was like, did you sit down and draw? No, I didn't draw it. It just pops up in my head, you know, what I want to do. I want to do something that nobody has ever done before with, with my bike, like far as my rims and floorboards, you know what I'm saying, just different stuff on there, you know, diamond cut the whole bike, you know what I'm saying, and everything, you know, but... When did you get off into the bikes? Well, um, really, I, I got off into them, like, back in 04, when I bought my, my red, um, uh, the red bike and, my, and the red Hummer. 
Right. Yeah, that's yeah, that's when I I bought a, I bought the bike and didn't even know how to ride it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but I jumped on it. They took me outside. I jumped on it and rode it to the to the to the dead end and rode it back and told put this on the trailer. I'm ready to roll. You know. Mm -hmm. And it's been on there since. And went on to Fresno. You know what I'm saying? And had me some fun. My uh, the twins of mine over there in, in the Bay Area. They um in San Francisco. They they uh. Used to wait for me on the freeway. Them niggas doing 100 and 200 miles an hour. I'm doing 50 and 60. They putting on their flashes at the other end waiting on me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but now they respect my gangster because they know I ride. I hit Willie's on there if I can or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I make the bike get sideways or whatever. I just, you know, you know, Roy, I'm just, just trying to just enjoy my life. I don't want no problems for them. nobody. Look at me, you guys. I don't want no problems with nobody. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no problem with these cats that don't like me. I ain't got your your girlfriend, your wife, your your bitch or no nothing. So you know what I'm saying? So whatever the problem is with me, I ain't hard to find. You know what I'm saying? Just, hey, you know, maybe somebody else, you, you know. Now meet, meet them in the gym. Yeah, 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 meet me in the gym and whoever <laughs> lift the most weights, that's who wins. I don't wanna fight, I don't wanna do nothing. Whoever work out the hardest, you know what I'm saying? Or no nothing, man. You know, I just wanna just live my life, you know what I'm saying, it's just like, you know, like with Juju, you know what I'm saying, you know, it used to be me, Juju, and Good Guy, yeah. in the church, you know what I'm saying? In the church, yeah. Yeah, and then, um, When I think of the famous players, that's what, I, you know, the cross-country players, you Yeah, know what I mean? so, and, um, you know, like I talked to Good Game, um, when I was in Chicago, you know, because I could email him and he could, you know, tell him to call me, he'd call me, you know what right. I'm saying, and, you know, Good Game was like, man, he and that, uh, um, Getting his stock game up, you know what I'm saying, with the stocks and all that. He 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 into it for real, you know what I'm saying. And you know, Juju, he designing clothes, you know what I'm saying. And uh, you know, giving uh, parties and everything, you know what I'm saying. And doing stuff for the community and everything, you know what I'm saying. And you know, and uh, Bishop, he's still Bishop still doing him, you know what I'm saying. Feeding the squirrels, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, smoking his weed, you know what I'm saying. Going fellowshipping and everything, you know. He happy, you know what I'm saying? He happy, you know what I'm saying? Thank the good Lord that the good Lord bless him to see 65, you know what I'm saying? Feel more slim, you know what I'm saying? My Godfather, you know what I'm saying? 82 years old. He doing his thing, playing his guitars and everything, you know what I'm saying? Running around cross country, you know what I'm saying? Playing guitar in this state, that state and everything, having his fun, you know what I'm saying? Gangster Brown, you know, he still, he doing gangster, you know what I'm saying? He um, putting... Uh, DVDs and trying to put these movies and all that kind of stuff together. So it's kind of like everybody kind of like on a different page, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's just like with Good Game, I tell them, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing time with you because I'm one of them niggas. I'm not going to forget about you, you know what I'm saying? One thing about me, one thing about me, Maroy, if I fool with you, I fool with you. If I don't, I don't. You know what I'm saying? Believe that. Yeah, so I mean, you know, so, you know, I don't have no bad taste in my mouth about you because somebody else going on with somebody else, say, because see, 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 where I'm at with it, all the controversy that's going on, like, with you, you know, the Gov, Pip and Ken, or, you know what I'm saying, or whoever, whoever the case may be, why we got to put it on social media, you know, just, I just want to know one thing, what have I done to you? You know what I'm saying? See, because one thing about me, if I got a problem, I'm, I'm a cop, hey man, what's happening? What, 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 what did I do to you where you couldn't call me? You see what I'm saying? That's what men do. Believe that. That's what grown men do. You see I what totally, I'm saying? I totally agree. That, that, that's, just like with, that's just like with you. I know you was going through your changes and everything, nigga. I remember mean, when you had hair on your head, you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> all that, you know what I'm saying? You, you're going through your changes and, <coughs> you know, <coughs> excuse me, having your cocktail and all that kind of stuff. And, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of times you you know you and you one of the very few motherfuckers that used to tell me, stop the drinking. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Don't do that shit. But well I, I well I try to tell everybody, I mean, you know, my mother died at thirty seven years old yeah, from drinking okay. alcohol. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just like me sitting here talking to my mom and then I come home the next day and, and the people telling me next day that she then my mother died. Thirty seven years old. I just turned eighteen, you know what I'm saying? So I mean, you know, I don't drink. I don't drink coffee. I don't smoke weed, I don't snort cocaine, I ain't no Molly. And I see I know see see I know all that right there stopped me from having 
Uh, 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 80% man. of the business. No, 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 95%. Because I'm not going to drink with you. I'm not going to smoke with you. If you drink and smoke, that's on you. But a bitch can't influence me to go drink and smoke. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, if, that's like me. I don't, like, shit, when I was in the penitentiary, I didn't drink coffee. Nigga be like, okay, well, you got coffee? I said, no, I don't even drink. I mean, you know, I don't drink coffee. You know what I'm saying? Because it was a, I didn't want that habit. You know what I'm saying? Um... Molly's, I couldn't even tell you what that is. Motherfuckers be talking about, I'm on steroids. Nigga, uh, nigga uh, if a motherfucker told me they'd give me a million dollars right now, I couldn't tell you what a steroid look like. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. K-Red uh, uh, on steroids. K-Red got extensions in his hair and all that kind of stuff. I can't help because I got a head full of hair. You know what I'm saying? I exercise. <laughs> I, I can show you all the vitamins. that I, I take vitamins and drink water. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's it. And mind my own business and get up and go and go to the gym. These people right here in my building, they know See, what I'm doing. See, you keep a good spirit when motherfuckers talk shit about you. Yeah, I don't care. Me, I'm, that shit been me out of shape. Mm -hmm. No, you but but you can't but you can't let it but you can't let it do you like that. After we get through doing this interview, and people get to see it whenever you got to edit or whatever you got to do to it and everything, and they see it. We're going to have way more, ne I mean, way, may, way more positive than we will negative. The negatives is just the scum of the earth. The positive is the niggas that know. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so that's just like the white folks say that the pimps are scumbags and scum of the earth. Shit, I ain't no scumbag. I, uh, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, a lot of times them girls have been prostitutes when motherfuckers done got them. You see what I'm saying? Then we, you know, it, it just, it's just so much that people would take and just run with it when you don't even have to. And the only thing you take is a conversation. I'm not gonna call you. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to. I'm not gonna disrespect you. You you'll know when I'm ready to fight because I'm gonna call you and call you all out your name, talk about your mom and everything and where you want to meet at. That's it. That's all. But I'm too old for that. I don't want to fight nobody. I don't want to be, I don't want to, I'm not going to disrespect you. I don't want nobody to disrespect me. And then a lot of times, now, if I got into it with somebody, I ain't got to do nothing anyway. I got grown ass sons. You know what I'm saying? It's way <laughs> big. Some big motherfucking grown <laughs> ass sons. <laughs> yeah. so a lot of sons. Big some bitches. A lot of nephews. You know what I'm saying? A lot of love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, I went to the gym to work out with these niggas. These niggas was not working out. They was training. <laughs> you thought they had the Super Bowl coming up next week. That's what a lot of people be like. Are y'all football players? Are man, y'all niggas, like, y'all niggas nah. ain't even in there working out like normal people, man. That what, shit. <laughs> well, that well, that come from Big Shot, you know. That's my partner. That's my road dog. Big Shot training. Big Shot hit seven hundred and sixty-five pounds. You know what I'm saying? And he's not on nothing. Shot thing. Shot weigh like about two twenty, two twenty-five. He ain't did it in a hundred years. So for him to hit seven sixty-five, he had to go back and um, train, but. For him to hit 500 in the gym or something like that right now, it's nothing to him. Yeah, I was with Shot last night. Yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing to him. Me, you know what I'm saying? I just told Shot that I was gonna train to hit 500, but I think I'm gonna just stay like at 450 or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, I ain't doing nothing. Something. So it's just That's what I was feeling too. Like you know what I mean? See, yeah. like I'm at 425 now, so I figured like you know what I'm doing. <laughs> Keep it right there, 385, warm up, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you know, yeah, well, that's where we be getting down, you know, just like 315, you know, hit the 225, you know, uh, uh, 25, 30 times, you know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, they be saying that's football shit, but I can't tell, I ain't never played football. Man, y'all niggas be in there training, man, like, like it was a game coming up. I said, God damn, man. Yeah, but you know, like I said, but you know, Roy, at the end of this, um, interview man I just you know I just want to tell you you know what I'm saying you, you always been my friend no matter what how people think about you I don't I don't care what nobody say about me you know what I'm saying a few people was like well you shouldn't do the interview with Maroy cuz Maroy uh, is the police okay well shit okay well if you the police then the police would be over here knocking on my door cuz you know the cold part about it a lot of the bikes, they stay in my building. So I, they see me every day. You know what I'm saying? I said, I seen one of them one, uh, one morning. Hey, hey, can you read? I said, hey, you know, he said, well, you on your way to the gym? I said, yeah, I keep it moving, man. I mean, when I, I mean, goddamn, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's just that. See, you know, K. Ray, that shit really bothers me. Motherfuckers but you say, but I'm the police because a nigga go to jail that's on my DVD. Like, how in the fuck is that my fault? If, like, you was an American pimp. Mm hmm. That motherfuckers on America Pimp, all the active pimps on there had went to jail. Bradley went to jail. Dre went to jail. 
Mm -hmm. I don't know who else went to jail, but so what is it? The Hughes brothers' fault that they went to jail? Like you know what I'm saying? But no, nah, I mean, I mean, basically in real life, it ain't nobody. I mean, the only uh, that's the only just person, the streets in the game. The, the only person who fault is when you go to jail and everything. It don't it don't be the film because it's it's like now we're doing this interview. You know what I'm saying? You ain't start, you ain't stick no gun to my head and make me do nothing. You know what I'm saying? I told you, okay, well, Maroy, I, uh, 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 come on, we gonna do it because. I've been putting you off long enough, and I know that I've been trying to get a lot of things taken care of and all this. Uh, 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 when you hit me this morning, that's why I hit you back. Say, yeah, come on, homie. You know we're gonna get this out the way. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, you've been my friend. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I ain't seen where you had to go get on the witness stand and be like, yeah, this is what he told me. It was him. It's him. It's him. It's him. Hey, man, check this out, man. By you filming, well, what's the what? Okay, excuse me. By you filming, what's the difference with? A nigga being on the film, a nigga being on Facebook, a nigga being on IG, a nigga being on Twitter. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. What is the difference? A radio, what's the difference? You see what I'm saying? Let me tell you Let me tell you what gets you busted. It's when a nigga know that he ain't doing what he's really supposed to do. It's when a nigga out there being cocky. You see what I'm saying? It's when a nigga out there putting shit in these white folks' face and all that kind of stuff. You don't have to do nothing. But because it, one, one thing that one thing that I know, Maroy, you don't have to pimp for the public. You can pimp for yourself. You see what I'm saying? And that's what a lot of these cats they do they wrong because they pimp for the public. They want everybody to know that they pimping and everything. You see what I'm saying? But the game has got so crucial the way that they didn't turn it around and bent it all out. They didn't did the game just, you know what I'm saying, like just just bent it all out, out of shape. It used to be like this, you know what I'm saying, keep everything straight. But now it's all like this, you know what I'm saying? So that's what gets you busted, you know what I'm saying? Because the youngsters, they don't. So for the people to say the movies get people in trouble, they tried to use that shit on me when I when I, when I got busted. Talking about the huge first thing a bunch of motherfuckers said, oh, I knew it that that was go that's what was gonna get him was the movie. The movie ain't had a goddamn thing to do with it. They they, they just be hollering that movie shit just to amp their case up to the jury or something like that. Other than that, they know that they, that that ain't get me busted. You you know what I'm saying that the move the they use they use the movies the movies and the DVDs for you. I mean against you. When you catch a pimp case, okay, well, if I catch a murder, they don't give a fuck about these motherfucking movies. If I go rob a motherfucker, they don't give a fuck about these motherfucking movies. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's not, it's not that. It's what you into. So if they got a DVD of me robbing motherfuckers like they be doing on TV, they got a reward out because motherfuckers robbed six or seven banks and everything. So when they catch you, that's what they're gonna use against you. So if you if you are a pimp and you own DVD, they're going to use that against you. That's common sense. They use that against you. A motherfucker can't tell me nothing because I did my time. I got all my paperwork. I did my time with the feds. I dealt with the feds. So ain't now motherfucker can tell me a goddamn thing about the feds, what the feds will do and what they won't do. You know what I'm saying? Because they took me and did what they wanted to do. You know? And that's just like with, with Pimpsy. But your case being with money larger, did they happen to use? They had, they had this is what they said. They said that I had a female, 15 years old, and that I took her across three state lines in another pimp's truck that she used to be with. I went and got the truck out of the impound, and that she deposited $90,000 in my account. At 15, huh? At 15. <laughs> so that mean, that mean every 10 days, I got thirty thousand in these three different states, which it was, it was like almost a hundred thousand dollars in my account. But they know it didn't come from her. They know it didn't come from her. They know, they know I had, uh, I had took a house and I had sold it. You see what I'm saying? And when the money, they know the money came from, you know, when the money come from escrow and all that, yeah, everything yeah, gets yeah. closed. The money went, you know, they put the money in my bank. The money was in my bank account. I didn't even know it was in there until uh, and, uh, and, and, until uh, uh, the other writer called me and said, uh, uh, your money in the account. So, well, it had been two or three weeks, you know what I'm saying? But I wasn't tripping because I wasn't hurting for no money, you know what I'm saying? But they took it and said that I had another nigga's female underage. I, you know, the uh, the U.S. attorney. They always hit the pimp with that. Yeah, the U.S. attorney and one of the FBI agents and my and my uh, lawyer Bucky, they came, and they throwed a picture up and showed a picture of the female who 
was supposed to have been with me. And what when I looked at it, this is a full blown Asian bitch. When I looked at it, it was an eight by twelve. When I looked at it, I went and thought I said, Well Bucky, we can go on a trial because if I had a bitch for thirty days, bitch know everything it is about me in thirty days. And especially getting that kind of money. But I looked at them and told them I've been in, I had been in the game twenty five years. Back in 2005, made 25 years, I told them, I got my own kids. I don't fool with no, no underage kids. You know what I'm saying? So, and so Bucky was able to get out a lot of stuff dropped, even though, you know, they was trying to go through this and go through that. One thing I want to do, though, I want to send a, I want to send a, thank, I want to send a thanks out to my son-in-law, Be Legit, and my daughter, Nikki, and my cousin, Bunny, and all my kids and everything for being there at a, at a crisis time, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. I want to thank, thank you. My, my, number one, my lawyer for being there. Hey, yeah. 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 One thing I can say, one thing, one thing I can say, it wasn't about the money. Bucky didn't care about the money. Bucky cared Thank about you. my life. Bucky is the people man, talk about I'm going to get 40 Bucky years. I'm going to get a million dollar fine and everything. Bucky got up in there and, and told the people and everything. You know what I'm saying? We ready to go to trial. I, my lawyer, he don't do none of that, what y'all talking about. So no, by, the, by the will of God, they gave me two years. I've done the two years. I've been in the halfway house. I'm out the halfway house. I'm back at home with my kids and my family. And Thank you. I just want to keep yeah. But at the same time, I want to turn the mic over to my friend Bishop Ryan Bobby Ryan and everything because he has a special present for my lawyer and everything. You know what I'm saying? Because you know one thing. Let me show y'all. Y'all put y'all put this on camera, and if and, and if the fans is in here, y'all take this. Yeah, I love you, Bucky. I, I love you, Bucky. You know what I'm saying? You, be, you, know, you gotta be back to my kids. You know, my loved ones, Bucky. And I love you, Bucky, for being there. Fuck you, Bucky. You the world's greatest lawyer, the best lawyer that I could ever have, Bucky. All right, let me tell you a story. Hey, 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 hey. Kenny Red came to see me. Not him, but he was in jail at the time. He had a lawyer who didn't do too well for him. His people came down to see me. So I went down to the jail and I talked to Kenny Red. Kenny Red told me a story. I believed it. And we went to battle. We battled the feds. They wanted to put him in prison for a long time. Kenny Red was telling the truth. He conveyed that to the feds. They gave him a deal. And it's for Kenny Red that I'm here tonight. It's for Kenny Red because he's a stand-up guy. He tells the truth, and he's all right with me. Welcome home, Kenny Red. Hey, y'all know how serious it is to have a lawyer. You know what Kenny went through. And Bucky's, he's still by I got it, too. Bucky's still by you know, and that's a blessing to have a lawyer in your corner. You know, sometimes you can't even get through. And y'all know what we're talking about. Kenny went to sit down and did his thing, and he back home. And he wants to show his love for his attorney, not just by paying and being there and making calls. I got it, sir. He just want to show it like we show it. And when you show it like this, it's from the heart. So, Kenny, Kenny, here, take this and do what you want to do. Not mine, you're your main man. And he want to thank his son-in-law, be legit. Man, the best son-in-law in the world, Jack. You know how to hold him down. And that's what you need, real people in your life. When you make them transactions, everybody can reach out for that call. So if they don't follow through. But be legit, he know what it takes. And for that, Kenny was able to get some rest and take his thing. So right now, he want to present something to his lawyer, Bucket. That all real shit is going on. Check, check. Bucket got his own glass from Kenny Red. That's the welcome home. From Kenny Red. That's the welcome home in Las Vegas. But you know, but you know the good part about it though? Yeah. You know what the US attorney told me? The, uh, the prosecutor, she said, only pimps carry cups and belt buckle. But guess what though? I got her belt buckle made and had her cup made. So we gonna see if she feel like a pimp when she get her. Cause I know my lawyer, he got here. But I wanna thank you guys for coming out and everything. The, the party ain't over, we just better get it started and everything. And, all that kind of stuff, but Let me ask you something. Do you think 
because this is just a theory that I, I personally kind of came up with. Do you believe that all of these pimps that's catching all these underage charges that they be implanted, these girls are being planted on these niggas? Well, well see, it's, well, see, it's kind of hard for me to say because I don't surround, my, I, I, I don't surround myself well. I don't know nobody that fool with no underage females. You know what I'm saying? I like to believe that too. But then when I see guys like Pimp and Bird pop up and he got underage or, you know, other people popping up with, or even like with Pimpsy in his situation, it's like, come on, man, where all these underage? And I know yeah. Pimpsy ain't get caught. I know he wasn't fucking with no underage, bro. Yeah. But, you know, it's just, it make me think the feds is planting. Well. Because they know that's the one charge. They can get well, a lot of time from well, where. But you know, but you know, but, but but remember what I said earlier though. See now, you see, you don't have to have no underage female. You can have a a, a, a bitch. She could be two hundred and fifty years old. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You could take that bitch right on from right here, and go across the state line right on out there, and take her right on over there to buy her a lottery ticket, and and they give a nigga a cake. Traffic, human traffic. See, that's human trafficking right there. See, that's what a lot of people don't know. That's you can tell. Oh, oh, come on, baby. We we going we going to state line to go buy some some lottery tickets. This bitch ain't got to do nothing but call and say, no, he took me across state line. I didn't want to go. Now they got a human trafficking. You see what I'm saying? Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? The law, the they got the law so flimsy and all that kind of stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know if niggas gonna be in the street, be in the game, man, they better go check with their lawyer and see what's what. You know what I'm saying? Because. The white folks ain't playing fair. They know it's a lot of black folks, you know what I'm saying, that like the like the, the Louis and the Gucci's and all that kind of stuff and everything. And you know, they wearing the Wranglers and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna get these Lucci and Gooey, uh, 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 Versace niggas, or we're gonna get them off the street. You see what I'm saying? Because they feel like niggas be hungry and be so desperate and everything. You see what I'm saying? But at the same time, man, if, you know, if niggas would, well, I ain't gonna even say niggas. If, you know, if the brothers, you know, you know, would get together and, and correspond with each other more like when we was growing up, you know what I'm saying? When we was growing up and everything and find out what's going on over here and over there and everything, it'll be, it would be a whole lot better. But, you know, you, when you keep on putting stuff in people's face, man, they ain't finna keep on going for all that drag, especially now. Now, now you know what I'm saying? That's just like Donald Trump. You know, people mad because Donald Trump uh, uh, in the building now, shit, guess what? It ain't gonna make me or break me, whatever he do, Donald Trump a business man. You know what I'm saying? Donald Trump trying to get some money. One thing about that president, motherfuckers know, the United States government, all of them know, Donald Trump has dealt with hookers, lookers, all of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he know what it is. You know, he don't Donald Trump don't give a fuck about no pimps and hoes and all that kind of stuff. Donald Trump focus on no, I know what we can do, we finna turn this around. We already, you know what I'm saying? Because that man got up in the office, that man rich already. Mm -hmm. He ain't need no money, he rich already. So ask yourself, well, why is he in office? That man ain't know. He know what's going on. Obama, Obama, they talk their ass off. Motherfuckers be talking. They don't like Obama. I like Obama. Obama made a whole lot of shit happen for for the black people. You know what I'm saying? Obama was able to get people medical that ain't never even had none. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, uh, 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 Obama mom passed, and they, you know the cool part about it though. Me and Obama the same age. 55, you know what I'm saying? He 55, I'm 55, you know what I'm saying? And I and I and I had told my son, I say, my young son, one my young son, the one that's 14, Jahan. I said, nigga, do you know that what he did, I could have did it too. But I said, the only difference between me and him, I was in the ghetto. I said, man, I was I was tired of being hungry. You know what I'm saying? See, it's mean. People don't know how mean it is. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these niggas, the plate, the, uh, the game just been handed to them on the plate. Right. Like with a silver spoon. You see what I'm saying? You know, it, it, it didn't come to me like that. You know? I had every, every step of the, the game that I have and the things that I had accumulating everything, I earned mine. You know? It, it, it wasn't just easy. You know what I'm saying? That's just like what, um, when I was young, I went to go see the Mac, Mac Julian, you know what I'm saying? And I was 13 years old, 13 or 14, I, I think 13, but it came out in 73. I think it came a little out bit there. before my time. But you know yeah. what I'm saying? I think it came out here in 73. And it's a trip that me, myself, I could call 
Mac Julian, you know what I'm saying, right now because he's a personal friend of mine, you know what I'm saying? Mac not no pimp, Mac. Mac still talk the same, Mac still look the same. And Mac is a cool brother, you know what I'm saying? And everything, you know what I'm saying? And I told Mac, I said, you was my hero. You know what I'm saying? When I see you, you was my hero. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, man, it's just that, you know, when when you become an OG and you're able to sit around and just talk about the things that uh, 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 that you have uh, uh, wanted to do and what you have done and everything, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it's like being old. And all the OGs, they'd be at the gambling shack, you know what I'm saying? I mean, when I was young, and all the OGs, they'd be in the gambling shack and, you know, sitting up in there talking about them old stories. I'm, here I am, 14, 15 years old, they talking about things that happened 40 years ago, you know what I'm saying? And see, that's where, in real life, that's where everybody want to really get to, is Believe being it. old and being able to sit there and talk about what we used to do, like, 20 years from now, you know what I'm saying? If the good Lord say the same, I'll be 75, I can say... Well, Roy, remember when you did that interview, man? Well, hey, man, you still got the tape, man? What's happening? You know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying? You been and got you a whole uh, 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 film crew. or You you know what I'm saying? Right. You know, you're going to do what the good Lord wants you to do. You know what I'm saying? Because, Maroy, you know, hey, man, let me tell you one thing, man. If everybody in my building got some of nigga envelope. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Is there anything that K-Red want to do that he hasn't done yet? Yeah, I want to go scuba diving. <laughs> <laughs> for real? Yeah, I want to go scuba diving, for real. I did that shit before. That shit's yeah. scary as hell. Is it? Scary as a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah I want to go scuba diving, man. They put me you down. Know? I was scared. I had to go back up. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to do that. You know what I'm saying? Go scuba diving. Tell them the shit you got going on, though, okay, right? Tell them about the motorcycle thing. Tell them all the shit you got popping. Well, I am the founder of uh, No Rules, No Do's Motorcycle Club. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I got like, I think we got like about 16, 17 chapters or somewhere around there, 15 or something like That'd that. That'd be a bad motherfucker to start a motorcycle game. <laughs> they spread, <laughs> spread all over. We, you know, we ride, have fun, meet up, you know what I'm saying, with all the other motorcycle clubs and just fellowship, you know what I'm saying? I do design motorcycles, you know what I'm saying? Whatever color you want, whatever kind you want, or whatever you want to do to it and everything. I do have some nice builders that will put it together, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to design it, they're going to put it together. Um, if you, I, I do go to the gym, I do train people. When I do take you in the gym, I'm not your friend, I am the enemy. So, if you're not ready for it, then don't call me on that page. Um, I am trying to get everything together. Uh, 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 um, I got a few things lined up where I'm supposed to be going to talk to the, you know, the young youth and letting them know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah? It's better, yeah, it's better to stay in school than to be a damn fool, you know what I'm saying? I think I can get you on some shit with that. Well, well, well I got, well, yeah, I got a few, uh, 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 a few, a few of my friends, you know what I'm saying? They, uh, putting it together, you know, so, you know, I got, I, I have a lot of people be asking me to go speak and, you know, I got a few people that call me and, hey, can, can you come talk? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind. I don't mind. Because if I wasn't here, and I didn't have no older sons. I want somebody to talk to my young sons and keep them on the right track, you know? But don't get me wrong. I don't hate the game. I love the game. I just don't love the way it's being played. You know what I'm saying? It's just like how they change certain things out of football or basketball, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, what you mean I can't hit that man like that? I've been hitting him like that for the last 40, 50 years. Okay, well, we changed it. If you hit him like that, we're going to find you, see? Right. Everything comes to an end. Everything. No matter what it is, everything comes to an end. Sooner or later. You know. So by me saying that, nigga got to have his T's crossed and his eyes dotted. Because see where people fail to realize that it's gonna end. And if you don't have no coins in your cup, you will be fucked up, you know? You got to know how to save your money. You got to know how to spend your money. 
And if you don't spend your money the way it's supposed to be spent, and you don't save it the way you're supposed to save it, it's a fucked up ending. I got some friends that's a little older than me, you know what I'm saying? And they back up us up against the wall. I do what I can for them, as long as I got a few coins in my cup, you know? But um, this episode of the game, niggas better get it together, man, you know? And you, Maroy, you my friend, Mr. Michael Maroy, you my friend. Quit worrying about what people got to say about you. Do you, man. You got your a good a good woman on your side and all that kind of stuff, man. You got to do you. Because if, and that's for anybody, and this is for anybody. Anybody that got something to say about you or whatever you doing or how you doing and everything, remember one thing. You don't have to get all bent out of shape. You pay your own bills. The person that's talking about you, if they're not paying your bills, why are you getting bent out of shape? Why you want to go fight them or shoot them or stab them or beat them up and everything? Leave them alone because guess what? Like the good Lord says in the Bible, things will come to pass. All that conversation can go past. Look how they tried to talk about me when I was in jail. Oh, he going to get 40 years. Oh, he had an underage girl. Look what they said about good game. You know, we know good game. Maroy, you know good game. For sure. Man. People just took the negative and ran with it instead of just, hey man, that's my dude. You see what I'm saying? You One thing you learn, you learn who your friends and you learn who your associates, you know what I'm saying? And it taught me who was my friends and who was my associates, you know? And uh, for you brothers that's gonna stay streeting it, better get it right or leave it alone, man. It ain't the same, homie, you know? Find you some, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know the cold part about them, Roy? The youngsters think it's, it ain't cool. The youngsters feel like they ain't cool if they go, oh, no, nah, I ain't going to, I ain't going to get no job. I ain't going to uh, give me no, uh, no kind of career. You know what I'm saying? Well, hell, well, what you going to do? Because if a chick come through the door and give you a million dollars right now, and if you ain't got no plans to do nothing with it, besides go buy a car and some jewelry and some name brand shit, You'll be broke tomorrow. Believe that. It ain't about that. You so know we've seen plenty of niggas go broke in this place. Man, come on, man. We Please. Plenty of money. For real, for real. You know? And it, and, that, and that's not what time it is, man. A nigga got to know what he's doing with his money. You know? I mean, shit, I'll I, I be, uh, be glad when um, I'm able to go sign one of them contracts, you know what I'm saying, uh, for to build one of the baddest bikes in the United States, you know what I'm saying, or something like that. It's you coming. Know what I'm it's coming. Yeah. yeah, it's coming. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Looking at that King of Diamonds, it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, you know. Somebody talked about the King of Diamonds right now. You ready to let it go? Yeah, they, I mean, yeah, make the price right. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's just like an old school car. I put it. I'm gonna put another one together. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just having fun. You know, it, it just gives you something really to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, believe that. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's just dusty right now. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it's my craftsmanship, my work, you know what I'm saying?
the tail pipe. And they get the hard work right there on the side of the pipe. G now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And um ain't nothing wrong with being an OG. Nigga better thank the good Lord yeah, for being I'm, an OG. I'm grateful to be a, a OG, then you be a double OG, then you be a triple OG, you know. I'm down there triple OG, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like it's a blessing, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I sometimes I lay in the bed and you know, and thank the good Lord, you hey hey, uh 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 Good Lord, I appreciate, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate you got me here, you know what I'm saying? See, because everybody fail to realize that you're here for a purpose, man, you know? That's just like, you know what I'm saying? You got mama, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, you know, a lot of times, you know, we be cocky and don't want to listen. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, because I mean, mama tell you something wrong, you know what I'm saying? You might be like, hey, I've been doing this. I know what I'm doing, but you know what? In real life, though, you know, a lot of times the chicks, they be looking out for your health. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your health and your wealth. You know what I'm saying? But, but, see, let me tell you what you got to focus on. This is for real, for real, man. You got to focus on quit getting upset what somebody say about you. Look what they said about Jesus Christ. But we here because of him. Come on, man. Hey, man, when I go to church, man, they say they stretched him. They stretched him out. They stretched him wide. They hung him high. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Hey, man. 
you here for a reason. You know, you you here not to satisfy the haters, but because that's all we really we really been doing. I remember I remember one time motherfucker said that. They had my name and a bunch of other motherfuckers' name on the paper back in 2001. I got AIDS and somebody, it was like me too short. It was like about, maybe about 20 people named that was on the list. So I got my ass on the plane and went to Oakland. Was like, well, well what a bitch I said that, you know what I'm saying? That I got AIDS and whoop after whoop. And I, and I remember my dad telling me, he was like, well, you don't know the girl. You know you ain't got it. You got a little baby on the way. So who you got something to prove to? You know what I'm saying? And, and he was right. I remember them chicks used to make me mad, Maroy, on the phone. And my dad, my and this is my stepdad, but he my dad. And my dad used to be like, hey, What's all that? Why, why you doing all the hollering? You on one end and hit a bitch over here in New York somewhere, and I'm hollering and screaming on the other end. My dad say you can't jump through the telephone and get her. So why you running your blood pressure up? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Yeah, real shit. You, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that's just like, that's just like I I do this, Maroy. I when I'm in the car with people, and it's not that I'm trying to tell you how to drive, but. Why are you speeding to the red light? Why you just don't get up off the gas and let the car coast there? Because when you get there, the light's still gonna be red. Nine times out of ten, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you know, a lot of things that I have took Maroy and and just thought about it because in real life it's really common sense. You know, you know what I'm saying, dog? Yeah. And I don't wanna live my, my matter of fact, Maroy, one of my What man, what motivates a motherfucker to think of some shit like that? Say I'ma say this nigga got AIDS. What 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 the, what, what the fuck it was the point in that? I, I know what you trying to do? Maroy. Keep a bitch attention off a nigga? What, yeah. what exactly yeah, are you Maroy, doing? Maroy, that's all, Maroy, that's all it be, Maroy. Maroy. It's haters, man. You have to remember. Haters are like roaches. When you and you know what roaches do? Roaches all come together when the lights out and talk shit and blah blah. Yeah, fuck this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're gonna yeah we're gonna eat up everything. This motherfucker, we're gonna crawl up in the clothes and eat all the food. But as soon as you show up, they scared. But if you're in the street, or if you're not in the street, but if you affiliate yourself with people that's in the street, it's best for you to know that's what's going on. But I'm not gonna ask you about your personal life, your personal business, because it's none of my business, you know what I'm saying? But I just want to just, you know, just live my life, man. I don't want to be bothered, you know, seeing all, all the haters that's going to be hitting your um, your computer and everything. The YouTubes. Yeah, all the haters that's going to be hitting the YouTube. They ain't got to do. They ain't got to. Even, they ain't got to do that. I got the same phone number I had like since ninety nine two thousand. If they got something they want to say to me, they ain't got to do it. Call me seven zero two two one zero two two seven seven. You know what I'm saying? I ain't shit. I ain't, I ain't changing my number. I went to the feds. Come home. Still had the same phone number. Yeah. And my driver's license wasn't even revoked, suspended, or no nothing. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what nobody do. It don't. It don't bother me. I don't care what nobody does. Just don't bother me. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what no bitch do. I don't care what uh, uh, these niggas do. Just don't bother me because I don't want no problem. I want to live my life. I want to play with my grandkids. You know, I got some cute little grandkids and everything. You know, some of my kids, some of my grandkids call me Grandpa Kenny Red. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Hey, man, you want to get to that. Yeah, you want to get to that. I like that. You want to get to that point, man. People want to get to that point because you, you'll do better raising your child or your grandchild versus trying to explain something to a nigga about what you ain't done or what you ain't said. When you get on that page, Maroy, what you gonna be like? Damn, this show stress out. You know what I'm saying? See, see, Maroy, one thing my nigga told me, he said, okay, Red, this is what my mom used to tell me. Cause I, I hear a lot of stories with my partners, and you know, they get a lot of sense for their mom. He said, he said, this is what his mom said. When you got to look behind your back, that means you ain't living right. So, me, 
I don't look behind my back because I know what I'm doing right. And that's living. I'm not going to bother you. Don't bother me. You know, I'm going to get up and go to church on Sundays. Thank the good Lord. Get my blessings and everything. And I'm going to keep it moving. You know, because when you... I remember you took me to church. Yeah. A couple times. Yeah. When you turn 50 years old and people keep hollering about, uh, were you still young in real life? They lying. Nigga, half a hundred. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I mean, it is what it is. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of people psych themselves up for that. Oh, you still young? I say, no, I ain't. No, I'm not. I'm a half a hundred. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. What, uh, one of the, uh, you know, uh, send a shout out. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, God bless his family. My my partner, Brandon, you know what I'm saying? 20-something years old. Just died last night. They say he had an anxiety attack and he couldn't get his breathing. He died. Heart stopped. You know what I'm saying? Work at my work work at Nardo's barbershop. You know what I'm saying? Brandon, good dude, man. You know? Gone, man. Twenty something years old. Brandon might be thirty, but twenty you know, I say the most thirty, but you know, twenty something years old. Come on, man. Life too short for people, you know what I'm saying? You know and then you ever seen that movie Django? Yeah. You know how Samuel, how that, that, that character had Samuel Jackson play? Mm -hmm. That's how the haters act. Boss, you mean you gonna let him sleep tonight? <laughs> Boss, you mean to tell me? What that nigga doing on that horse? Yeah, <laughs> no, no, this is the way it is now. Boss, you mean to tell me? That nigga Kenny Red let uh, uh, Leroy interview him, Boss? Oh, no. Let me, so, let me sit out this and all that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So now they might be saying, well, shit, him and K-Red are working for the pole. Oh, well, shit, that's how you feel about me. Oh, well, shit, I ain't bothering nobody. Police don't bother me. I don't bother them. I ain't disrespectful. I know nothing. You know, a lot of people be intimidated by me because I'm big, but uh, they be saying, a lot of females that I met, they be like, I want to talk to you, but you be looking at me. I say, baby, all right, this is just how I look. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying be mean but I don't be mean mugging nobody or no nothing. Shit, I'ma speak, you know what I'm saying, with a smile. You know, shit, you ain't did nothing to me. Well I'm be mean mugging you, shit. You know, I don't think I'm tough. I don't wanna fight. You do talk a lot of shit though. No, 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 no. I talk shit in the bowl now. We go bowling on Tuesday now. And get it in, you know? A little recreation, you know what I'm saying? For about three hours, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I got my bowling balls and my shoes, you know. But I mean But you know what Roy does always busy. But you do talk a lot of shit. I mean you do know that, right? No, but not like I used to, though, boy. <laughs> you know what I'm not, not, not like I do. But I mean, because these niggas already know. Ain't too many niggas can out talk to me, though. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a little nigga have it, though, for real. Nigga call. See, see now the only thing the youngsters got on me is because I'm older. That's all. They didn't call me old. But ain't too many niggas gonna, ain't too many niggas gonna out talk me. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because they don't have that experience. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't been through what I done been through. You know what I'm saying? Man. Yo, this concludes my exclusive interview with none other than Kenny Red. It was a pleasure and an honor to be here with a living legend. Thank you for welcoming me into your humble abode. Very nice. Yeah, well, you know, that's any time, man. You know, no rules, no dues, motorcycle club. <laughs> Go join your local chapter. <laughs> this is the founder. That's like history in the making, man. Oh, no question. You know what I'm saying? That's some historical shit. You know, you got to be a bad motherfucker to start your own motorcycle guy. You know what I'm saying? Now, we ain't no gang. We, you know, we just chapters. We just fellowship, and that's yeah. all, you know? Hey, uh, I want to send a shout out to everybody that's down and trying to stay down. But, you know what I'm saying? You got to keep it right and tight if you're going to, you know, survive. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, though, you know what I'm saying? Much peace and love. Love y'all. Healthy, wealthy, happiness. Goes together. All of that go together. Yeah, I appreciate it, Kevin. Too real for TV.com.